Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Noob Sailor King, and welcome back. We are playing more of the CK2 Game of Thrones mod as Durin Lannister. And I just remembered, so people asked me to turn the music down, so I turned it down, and I kind of feel like I turned it down so much that it's basically inaudible. So I'm going to turn it up that much, uh, just to try and speed it up. So, uh, speed it up. Turn it up so we can have a little bit of music, because I like having music in the background. First things first, whilst we're starting the recording is shit tons of noise going on outside. They're digging and drilling and having sex out there. I don't know, there's so much crap going on outside. Um, so it's pretty crazy out there. Um, uh, how many times my wife Maria won't listen? She cannot take no for an answer. She had decided that her friend should be martial. You cheating on me? Who's your... Lancer Lannister? Don't be fucking me around. No matter what you say, I'll not make your friend Marshall. I think Mario might be cheating on me. Because we had Lord Moore on as a son. Oh god, I'm so sad that he's slow. And I kind of want to kidnap him, but I don't want to be a king slayer. A kin slayer. Ah. Uh... It's sad. And we're just kind of waiting for Stannis to die at this point. He should be dying soon. And when he does, I think we're going to have uh, some interesting things go on. I think there might be a few wars, hopefully. I don't know if Jerrion, his son, Jerrion Baratheon, I don't know if he's going to be um, a king that everybody likes to have. He, he's zealous, trusting, humble. He's not a bad character at all, but he lacks... Complete intrigue. I don't know. I think we might... I think there might be something in trying to take him down. But we'll see. We'll see as we continue on. At this point, we're just kind of waiting for things to happen. Um, we've got our amazing martial wife here. We need a better Justica than this guy. You fresh and fresh and fresh. She can be... Hold on. Hoping game doesn't crash as well. You, you Frozeny, you is her name. She will be our new Justica um, and Master at Arms. Oh, we have Sir Humphrey. I completely forgot about him. He can train troops in the Westerland. Something else we're waiting on is for my mum to die, and so the Lyanna Stark. We can have the North, which is going to be a big, big thing, a huge thing for. Um, for us in this playthrough. I think having a slow son, I'm not massively upset about it. And I think I may play as him if it comes down to it. I think it should be okay. It should be okay. I'm, I'm praying that it will be okay. <laughs> I don't know at this point what's what we're going to do. Um, can we hold a feast just to make everyone happy? Yes, we can. And all my battles will be there. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. And um, as I said, the mission for this playthrough um, is we want to put House Lannister on the throne, preferably me. I want to be the king. Well, fuck off then, Marbrand. Will it? Um, I want to have a. How has that happened? That just does not look right. How is Riverlands. Twans. Um. The, I want to have a Lannister on the throne, and when we have a Lannister on the throne, that uh, call to arms of Crow's Edge. Um, yeah, I think you don't really need my help, but uh, I think you're going to be fine, Mum. I think you're going to be fine. Um, we, so when we get a Lannister on the throne, and it's relatively stable, if there's about to be a massive civil war, I won't stop. But when we have a Lannister on the throne, and it's a stable ruling, I think that will be the series end. And then I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be doing after that. I don't, I don't really know what's going to be my next series. What's going on in the Vale? Um, for a claim on the crossing. Interesting. Lots of little wars going on in Westeros. We could, just for fun, just go to war with, uh, with the Riverlands for that. But I don't really think there's any point in it, to be perfectly frank. To be honest, it seems like quite a stupid idea. If I can get... Um, 
all my vassals to like me, just something to look into. If I had perhaps an elective monarchy, because it would take my slow son away from being ruler, which would be nice. Hold on, so what's altmogeniture? The youngest child inherits, which is weird. Gavelkind, we don't want Gavelkind. Um, but an elective monarchy. Uh, let's. I think it may be something to look at, and there may not be a better time to do it. So I'm just going to make my vassals like me that little bit more. Just send them these small gifts because we have money to burn. And we can have an elective monarchy. I think that's an interesting thing to think about. Hmm. Should we have an elective monarchy? I think I'm just going to fire it for now. I just want to see what happens because preferably I don't want to have a slow son. Um, the ruler of each lowest rank can nominate a successor among themselves and legitimate children and siblings of the ruler. High lords are valid electors in Lord Paramounties, kingdoms and empires. Elective subsection is very popular with vassals, but they will not approve if the liege personally holds too many elector titles. Um, okay. So that's interesting. Um... She will be locked in the stock. Um, so I can nominate my successor. Right now, Lance Lannister. Who are you? Do you want to... Uh, the intrigue may be interesting to have in the council. Do we have anyone who's better? 15. Uh, see if there's any plots going on in King's Landing. Um, I can't bother to lose that amount of gold. Um, so right now, so we can nominate a successor, and this means we can basically choose from anyone in House Lannister to be our successor, which is... Ah. But the North isn't run like that. But the North isn't run like that. Have I just made a big mistake? Hmm... But the North isn't run like that. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Right now, I shall nominate Lancel and see what happens. I don't know if what I've just done is a big, big mistake. Looks like Lancel will be our heir for now. Um, I don't know what I've done is a big mistake. At the moment, I'm kind of feeling like whatever we do is kind of okay. Because we're just trying to, we're just trying to, just get a Lannister on the throne, and I, I feel like we're in the best position now that we're ever going to be in, and we're just waiting for Stannis to die, and our vassals absolutely love us as Durin, and I think as long as we don't have a, a small, slow child on the throne, I think we'll be in a good position. So I think having an elected monarchy. For now, is okay. I don't know what's going to happen in the north. We might have to change the north to an elective monarchy, but I doubt a bunch of people are going to are going to vote for me. So, mm, it's tricky. Great, we got the high septum to like us some more. Aren't you special? What's going on here? An invite to the plot from the high septum to kill some random person. No, I don't want to kill some random person. The county of the crag. The crag's up here, isn't it? Castamere the Crag is now R'hllor. You fucking nutcase. How have you done that? Let's just have a look to see what's happened in the... That's not it. Religions. What is that? Religions. So this random county here is R'hllor. These are R'hllor as well. Bloody hell. What's there? What is that? That's Faith of the Seven. Well, this is Faith of the Seven as well. I think that's just because it's a religious site. And these are all old gods, but there's Faith of the Seven in White Harbour... Well, that's just the weird thing. Just random patches of R'hllor. Very strange. Very strange indeed. 
Mario, are you going to get pregnant with another child so that we can have a good... A good son? Everyone loves Lancel. He's not a bad character at all. He's not a bad character, but his son... Fuck. His son is not going to be popular. I don't think... Little tie on. Well, I mean, he's not bad actually. If you look at his raw stats, looking at his raw stats, he's not actually horrendous. Mario's pregnant again. Good. Hopefully, that's not with a lover. And at least the vassal was just love me. I mean, that is a big bonus of having an elected monarchy. Well, most people love me. Most people love me. Do you want to come? The 19 Diplomacy is pretty useful. We'll take you, Tiget. Um, I'll spend lavishly on food. Hereby invite everyone. You'll perform my feast. Looks like everyone's coming. Everyone likes us. I think we'll be a good king. We're just waiting for Stannis to die. He's ruled for a fairly long time. Um, oh, we'll gain one learning. Blah, blah, blah. Who, so, let's have a look at the, the history of the Kingdom of the Iron Throne. So, Robert ruled until his death. Robert ruled for nearly 30 years. Stannis has ruled for 13. Wow. We've had some long, long kings going on. I, I just, I'm trying desperately to get House Baratheon off the throne. That is the mission of this series. Get Lannister. Get the Lannisters in there. But it's not, it's not working. We had another son and he's strong, but he's fucking dead. God damn it. God damn it. We've been so unlucky with our kids. We get a strong kid and he's dead. God damn it. May his reign be blessed. Lion, you need to hurry up and die. You have so many little wars up north. I think what we're going to do is we'll have to switch the north to an elective monarchy as well. I don't know how that's going to do. I'm not, I, I, I'm not brilliant with my... I think... Oh, who should we send you to educate you to? I think you look pretty good at intrigue. There's no... We don't have a real... Oh, but stewardship. Janna Kenning. Go to Janna Kenning. You can be a good steward. Tie on, hopefully. He should be okay. Um, we'll need a new maester. Sent for maester from the citadel. Blah, blah, blah. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Loads of little wars. What's happening? What's this war over? It's just another random war. And the Riverlands are winning. Um... <laughs> How should I educate my son? Well, he's got a... He's got diplomacy. He would actually be a fairly okay character. Look at all his base skills. He has a base diplomacy of four. Um, I think we'll educate him at court. Make him good at diplomacy. More on Lannister. More on Lannister. Shall be educated at court by Tyget. The guy I hired to be our Justicar, um, who's not doing anything. Um, what do you want? I took, just go away. Stop suggesting people. You asshole. What do you want me to be? You want me to be your chief general? I gladly accept. It means I shall have increased plot power in King's Landing. Yeah, it doubles our plot power. We kill you? No. We can't kill you. But he holds the High Lordship of Dragonstone. Um, I don't understand really what's going on down there. Nothing has really happened in this episode. We are just waiting for Stannis to die, really. And we could go to war with the Riverlands. I mean, it would kind of be pointless, wouldn't it? For this random de jure county. The vassals love me, but just hold another feast, I guess. That's probably my biggest tip for anyone trying to learn CK2 for the first time. 
Okay, fine, okay. She's pregnant again. Good. Um, anyone trying to learn CK2 for the first time is just to try and... Uh, just to try and... Um, make your vassals love you. And just holding feasts all the time is probably the most useful way. Um, there are loads of other ways. By handing out honorary titles and stuff. I can't really be bothered by that right now. Um, but it is... That is probably the best way. Vassals to love you, you'll become immediately a huge military power. He's a good character, Durin. And my wife is good as well. Her claim can is going to be inherited on the Iron Throne as well. So Moron will have a claim on the Iron Throne, which is fairly cool, I guess. Maybe I should have. I, I kind of actually. I, I kind of feel it was a mistake. To change the succession law. Just to, just to see. We have Tinessa. Okay, we've had a, a daughter. Just to see. If I say more on Lannister should be the ruler. Oh, he's, whoa, he's getting loads more votes. I think it was a genuine mistake to make him... To make him uh, the ruler. To, to switch to elective monarchy even. I think that was a big mistake. A very big mistake indeed. I don't know what to do yet. I don't know what to do. Um, Gareth has... Go scheme in King's Landing. And we'll hold another feast. Um, yeah, I think that was a big mistake. I think right now... I'm going to keep Moron as my suggested heir. He has seven diplomacy. It's sad that he's slow. He would have been actually a really good character. If he did, if he wasn't slow, he'd have ten diplomacy as a seven-year-old. That means he would have been nearly as diplomatic as I am as a 39-year-old who is basically the hero of the kingdom, defeating Stannis' man in single combat. I think that was, that was pretty amazing. That was probably the highlight of the series for me, winning that trial by combat. God damn it, Stannis. You need to hurry up and die. And so does my mum. So does my mum. Come on, mummy. You need to die. Um, who the fuck are you? The spider. Who's the spider? Varys is the spider. Um, why do you keep on wanting... Why does the... Why does Septon keep on wanting to kill this woman? Sorry, I just received a text. From Betfair telling me I should bet some more. I'm a, I'm a betting man. I do love betting. I bet on football. That's my thing. Rupert Lannister. An attractive boy. Lancel married to Rowell. Should we press it? Who holds the Stormlands right now? This guy does. R'hllor. And I could declare war for Rowell. And then, la ooh, yeah. Should I do it? It's not in the hands of. It's not in the hands of a. Yeah. Should we go for it? It's not in the hands of. A Baratheon, so I don't think Stannis should have a problem with it. I'm get. I'm giving it to a Baratheon. And it would increase our standing. Why not? We're going back to war, everyone. Lyanna can join. We've got so many men. We've nearly got 70,000 men to take on the Stormlands. How many boats can we raise? 168. Jesus Christ. We are strong. We are so strong. Um, get them down there. You can go there as well. These guys are going down there. We'll get this lot to meet up there. We're going back to war for the Stormlands. I don't think it would be... I don't think it would be a series if I wasn't going to war over some random crap to try and boost our house's strength. 
Um, you want to be regent? Whatever. Even though you're a schemer, probably not the best. Why does everyone want to get this woman? Who is she? I just decline. Okay. I think this will be a reasonable pause. I think this will be a reasonable place to end the episode, guys. So, thank you for watching. We're going back to war again for the Stormlands to put it in Lannister hands. Because we're going to try and take down the throne soon. And we're going to... Maybe maybe we'll have an independence war. Maybe... I don't know what's going to happen yet. But, anyway, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I've been the Noob Sader King. Goodbye.